Hey everyone, welcome back to Somerset Place State Historic Site. As we near the end of our ongoing series, we're focusing today on the final enslaved persons listed on the 1843 inventory. 69-year-old Joe Welcome, 84-year-old Bridget, and 9-year-old Emily. These three individuals were not identified as living in a particular structure because no house number appears beside their names. So it's unknown where they lived. It's possible they occupied the loft in the one and a half story slave kitchen or resided in another building along the street, which was the plantation's main thoroughfare. Although they were listed together, Joe, Bridget, and Emily's relationship is unknown. The only information we have about Emily is that she was the daughter of an enslaved woman named Nitty. And we have not identified any family members for Bridget, who was born in 1759. Upon her death at the age of 90, she was the oldest living member of the enslaved community. The Lake Chapel Paris Register recorded her burial in February 1849 with the notation, oldest of the plantation. Unlike Emily and Bridget, we have much more information about Joe. He was usually recorded on slave inventories as Joe Welcome because he was the son of an enslaved man named Welcome Gilbert. Born in 1774 in Edenton, Joe was a master bricklayer and mason. He helped construct a number of buildings that still stand today, including the Edenton Academy and the Hayes Plantation House. At the Edenton Academy, as Catherine Bashir notes in her article, Black Builders in Antebellum, North Carolina, Joe dressed stones, laid the stone foundation, hauled brick to the site by boat, erected the brick chimneys, made lime, lathed walls and ceilings, and applied finished plaster inside and out. At Hayes Plantation, he led a construction crew of enslaved laborers to install the house's brickwork. Joe also worked on renovations at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Edenton, remodeled brickwork at the Pettigrew's first Bonarva Plantation house, and helped construct buildings at Sahara in Pea Ridge. It's not clear when Joe was forced to relocate to Somerset Place, but by the mid to late 1830s, he was receiving passes to visit family in Edenton for Christmas. Although his partner was not recorded, Joe had at least two children, Gilbert and Bill Beasley. Joe resided at Somerset Place until his death in 1859 at the age of 85. In our next video, we'll wrap up our series by highlighting the problems and questions about the 1843 inventory of enslaved persons at Somerset Place. Be sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video is posted. And until then, thanks for watching.